The resiliency key of empowerment is very much about how much we feel we have control over our lives. Do we feel we have our own autonomy, our own sovereignty, our own self-authority to determine the direction in which our life goes? Each of us goes through a couple major individuation cycles as we're growing up and maturing. The first typically comes around age two. Anyone who's a parent will tell you it's kind of gotten a bad rap or a bad nickname amongst the parenting circles of the terrible twos, but it's really not that at all. It's just that a child is for the first time playing with, how can I assert myself? How do I know what I want to need and how do I assert my ability to have it and get it, right? A lot of times in this cycle, parents will use the word no a lot. The child may also use the word no a lot. As a young child, a lot of times the only areas we feel we really have control over our lives is in what we eat, when and where we go to the bathroom, and when and where we sleep, right? And so a lot of times these are the areas in which young children are really asserting their own self-authority. Now, as that child, did your parents give you room to experiment and play with your sense of personal empowerment, or did they shut it down? right? And the second is, of course, in our teenage years when we are individuating ourselves as an adult. We're starting to see ourselves in a more grown expression, a more adult expression of who we are. And we start to really pull away from our parents during this cycle to say, I have my own sense of authority and autonomy, and I want to be allowed to make my own adult decisions and start experimenting with self-determination in my life, right? Now, of course, this also comes with experimenting and exploring with a little bit more adult themes when teenagers are asserting their authority and their autonomy. And so there can absolutely be a lot of internal struggle in the household during this time around power, big power struggles, right? Who has the authority? I'm still the parent. I'm still in charge. No, you're not, right? And so how you are related to throughout your life as you navigate these dynamics of asserting authority, because the truth is these are two major cycles in growing up, but we're constantly dancing with how much power and self-sovereignty do we feel we have to self-determination in our lives. And if we are shut down in our power, if we are not allowed to determine what direction we feel aligned with to follow, it can really make us start feeling powerless, out of control, or like we are unable to feel powerful, to be the innately powerful beings that we are in our lives and in the world. So let's do some tapping today around the resiliency key of empowerment to try to realign you a little bit with that internal sense of power, self-determination, and authority to determine your own direction in life. Even though I don't feel powerful, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I've given away my power, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though my power has been shut down, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Not feeling powerful. Feeling powerful. 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 Take a nice deep breath. Take a sip of water if you like. And let's do a positive reframe around empowerment. Even though in the past, I've given away my power I now choose to stand in and embody my power fully. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though in the past, I didn't feel safe to be powerful. I now know that it is safe to stand in my power and to follow the direction that feels right to me and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though in the past, I didn't think I was powerful, I now know that I am an innately powerful being and I have everything I need to fulfill my destiny. 
and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Standing in my power. Using my power for good. Knowing I am powerful. Standing in my power. Being unafraid of my power. It is safe to be powerful. It is okay to be powerful. Choosing to stand in my power.